We just spent our fifth week on Raven Tully Coast. In the after getting most of the diamonds we needed by using a few roots in the first weeks, we were only missing a single diamond to finally have every single of the 13 new species with a diamond score. And that species was the Tundra Bingus. So in order to find a level 5, I decided to look for one on single player by using all these setups and also on multiplayer by using this route, which was meant to cover the best locations to find Tundra Bingus as well as some of the best places to hunt top number species. And, well, you probably already saw thumbnail. We got quite a few things and something incredibly special. We're about to start the grind for the only diamond we're yet to find. We already got a diamond of every single of the 13 new species, except for the Tundra Bingus. We simply haven't had a chance to create level 5 yet, but mainly because we haven't really tried to get one. So now that it is the last trophy remaining, it's time to start using all the setups and to start killing all the emails we see. We're gonna begin this week by shooting as many ganders as we can, and I'm sure that eventually, one of those ganders will respawn as a level 5. And perhaps the level 5 won't be needed, because that right there seems to be a diamond potential level 4. Of course assuming that level 4s can make it. Let's see how big is this goose. 2.9, which is quite a decent score but still far from diamond. That ain't a level 5, but a big level 4 should never be underestimated. They could have a decent chance to make it and we're in one of the best locations to hunt species like Tough the Dogs, Canada Geese, Tundra Bing Geese, and the Eurasian Wigeons. It's overall a very good location, and well now this guy is inside the shotgun range, so I'ma use the 12 gauge Cacciatore. That's it. 3 on the dot, that is just a bit bigger than the last level 4 and I really feel that the level 5 is close. It ain't always easy to kill as many males as I would like. I mean, usually once you take the first shot, you only have a couple seconds to go for any follow-up shot, which normally is enough time to kill maybe 3 or 4 ganders. And perhaps 5 or 6 if you're using the shotgun in the 22. As you can see, there we have another of those big level 4s, which I hope is bigger than the one that scored 3. Another 2.8. Well, it's not like I was expecting something bigger, I guess. I would be lying if I said that I'm enjoying this grind. I simply need something more dynamic, so we're gonna visit a few more lakes, and the next time we're gonna continue on multiplayer. I wasn't expecting to see that. It ain't a goose, but considering that this spot also happens to be a great location for Tough the Dogs, it's not really that surprising. Just look at all the waterfall. It's insane. Usually a fantastic place to hunt Canada Goose, Tundra Bing Goose, Tough the Dog, and Goldeneye. I would actually place it inside the top 5 or 6 best locations to hunt waterfall on the entire map. And there he comes. They are gonna land too close. And he's down. This might be perhaps our second time on Tough the Dog, and on the same location where I got the first one. There we have it, a 964.7 Diamond Tough the Dog. That is a Capper Kili, and it's a potential diamond. Well, actually, almost every Capper Kili could be considered a potential diamond. Even the ones that have a 3 to 4 estimate. So let's see. Okay, it's just a 4.3, which is nothing crazy, but it ain't bad to be the first kill of the day. Up to 126. That is a gigantic level 2 Black Rouse. Well, Ray got a couple with the same estimate, and one of them scored 119.6, which was extremely close to the 120 needed for Diamond. That ain't the Grouse, but it's another promising upper kill. Hopefully bigger than the last one. And perhaps a giant. Forget about it. Gotta find the grouse. Oh. Okay, up to 118, so that ain't the big one. Wait. Is that him? No, again, it's just another medium sized cock, and the chase is starting to get long. 
we've been tracking the big male for like 2 or 3 kilometers, and the fact that we're spending so much time tracking a level 2 is simply not the best thing. That must be the big one. Finally, that's him. We are finally gonna have the chance to shoot this guy. Okay, let's see. Oh boy. We barely got him. Potentially a level 2 diamond. 118.1. It's a massive level 2, but it would be a lie to say that I wasn't expecting to see something bigger. And I'm not exactly happy, especially because the tracking distance is not exactly short. Oh, look at this. It's the track of a big Hazel Grouse. It's saying to common, so it's great to see a track of a potential level 3. And also a diamond. It might be, so we need to find it. Right there. Let's see how big it is. Oh, level 3. It is indeed a max level Hazel Grouse, which is perhaps our second diamond of this species, and one of several trophies we have found on this location. It is usually a great spot to hunt grouse, copper killies, and also rock ptarmigans. Let's see. It's a 447.3, max weight, diamond, hazel grouse, which is absolutely massive and even cooler with the dark plumage. It's definitely a beautiful trophy, and one of the best ones we've gotten on Raven Tully Coast. Up to 778, that's a big ptarmigan. Oh, actually that hen is even bigger. The diamond score is 772, so we're looking at two very promising estimates. We're gonna shoot the hen first, and then we're gonna try to get the male, especially because apparently the hen is bigger. And of course I wanna kill the one with a higher chance to make diamond first, even though a higher estimate doesn't guarantee a higher score. So it's possible that the male scores higher, even having a lower top estimate. That's it. We got the hen, but I couldn't spot the big male. We're gonna go find it after harvesting this massive 764.6 female willow ptarmigan. What a monster. Now we gotta find the big male. Okay, they are here. At least a couple of them, but none of them is the one we're looking for. I wonder where he went. Right there. It was quite hard to find it. But he's finally down. And it is... A738.1 4 to 5 trophy estimate. That is the max score estimate for the copper killies. And good mean that we're looking at a big male. Alright. This guy might be huge. Perhaps a level 2 diamond. Oh, come on. 4.3. I would say that this area is one of the most reliable locations to hunt copper killies and black rows. I mean, it's very consistent. And I didn't pay attention to the estimate. Damn. 118.4. That is the biggest black rose we've got in this week. Whoa. Look at that estimate. 118 to 128. That might be the biggest estimate I've seen on a level 2. No way. It has the diamond weight, but the trophy rating simply wasn't high enough. We needed a 120. And there is a 119.8. Another male. Right here. Doesn't seem to be as big as the last one though, unless it scores at exactly the top of the estimate. What? You gotta be kidding me. 
it's a 119.9, just one decimal below diamond. That's insane, we were so close, yet so far from getting two level 2 diamonds in the span of 10 minutes. When I saw that guy in the distance, I really thought it was a level 5. So you know, it's somewhat disappointing to see that it ain't that big. But still, I believe that Palmate might have a chance to score above 270. You never know. Alright, it's a 263.1. I didn't notice before, but the left palm, especially the left brow palm, simply don't have the mass to make this pool a diamond potential. Is that a male? Oh, level 3 Caprichilli. We didn't hit it. Damn. Anyway, I'm trying to fully fill in a Spring Creek Manor with only Rebuntulico species, and of course the Caperkillis are one of the main attractions, so it's great to find another potential diamond. We got him. If I'm not mistaken, this would be our diamond Caperkilli number 5, and we're yet to get one bigger than 4.8. So let's see. 4.6 diamond. It ain't a huge diamond, but it's always nice to get a big Caperkilli. So let's continue, we cannot forget that the goal is to get a diamond Tundra Bingus. Big boy. The diamond score for the grouse is 4.35, so a top estimate of 4.54 is certainly promising. There he is again. We know that for this species the level 2s can get really big, so I cannot wait to see the score of this guy. He is down. Also gonna shoot the hen because why not? Four twenty nine point two. What a beast. It is a truly big old. Oh level three. Another level 3 Caperkili. Without any doubt, they are not the rarest diamond. Actually, I would say they are the most common diamond in Rebontuli Coast, but also one of the most beautiful, so it's always great to find another level 3. Okay, that's him. One of the things I like the most about upland bear hunting on this map is that all the species are really vocal, being quite easy to figure their position, although the real challenge is to be able to get in range before they decide to fly away on the opposite direction, which is the main reason why sometimes we end up chasing some birds for multiple kilometers, which is exactly what is happening here, because this Caperkili is not here anymore. There he is again. I hope we can actually get close enough this time. Wait, what? No way! It's not a common! No way. I'm 99% sure that was not a common, not a leucistic, which essentially means we just killed a level 3 pale, Capper Kaylee. I cannot believe it. We just killed a potential super rare. After almost 3 years since the melanistic wild boar, and I have no idea how I didn't notice that it was a pale when I first saw it. I guess it was a lighting. And the funny thing is that seconds before he started flying towards us, I saw something white, and then I got distracted with the lynx that was next to it, so I instantly assumed that the white thing was also a lynx. And man, the moment I saw it flying, was the moment I realized it was something special. And I don't know what to say to be honest. I simply wasn't ready to get such an amazing trophy which potentially and hopefully will be our first super rare in the last two and a half years. I'm kinda nervous because it might be a troll, and I know really well how it feels to get a troll super rare. But anyway... Oh my god. We just got... a diamond pale caperkili. How crazy is that? Unbelievable. I gotta say that I'm still kinda in shock because it happened so fast and so unexpectedly that I had barely any time to realize what I was about to shot. All I know is that I will never forget this trophy. I just found something really interesting. The track of a max estimate female 
Rock Termigan, and it's actually not the first one we find, because we came across one a couple weeks ago, and it ended up being a massive 697 if I'm not mistaken, which was the biggest female Rock Termigan I've ever seen. That might be her. Well, clearly not. Wait. Okay, that has to be her. Yeah. Only a max weight estimate would have such a big top estimate. To be honest, I don't expect to see a diamond. I mean, the females probably have a score cap below the diamond requirement, but still I would say there is a chance that they can get big enough. Although in this case, this hand was just a 672. We are yet to see a level 5, so I think we should do our best to drop that guy. Especially because we don't know if level 4s can actually make it, so we must take every chance. You know, just in case. Two point eight is clearly not as big as I would have liked, but it ain't a surprise. Oh, look at that! Level three white tail. And surprisingly, I don't recall finding any other level three white tail since the map came out, which is actually really weird because they are supposed to be quite common. I mean, it's not like I've been really trying to get one, but I have certainly spotted a few hundred. Anyway, on this occasion, we're gonna use the 12 gauge Kashatori, and I'ma go for it to belong. Let's see. That should be enough. Yeah, he's down. At some point, I would like to start a Great One grind here on Raven Tully, but only after getting a Great One Black Bear. For which we're gonna start grinding after we get the Tundra Bingus. Now let's see a score of this book. Alright, that is our first time on Dwight on Raven Tully Coast. We got a perfect double long with the 12 gauge, and well, we need to keep looking for a time on Tundra Bingus. In the last days, we've been doing our best to find a level 5 Tundra Bingus on multiplayer, but unfortunately, the luck hasn't been on our side. I've been trying to focus mostly on the top part of the map, you know, just by trying to spot every single flock on the sky, but it simply hasn't worked. And believe me, I really wanna get one as soon as possible. So I guess that on this occasion, the best option we have is to go back to single player and stick to the grind this time. This was gonna happen sooner or later. I just bought it. That monster. Finally, a level 5, Tundra Bingus. The only thing I did was to shoot as many males as I could, because I knew that eventually, a level 5 would respawn. And I gotta say that I'm especially happy about this trophy, because first of all, it is the last time that we need it, and also, the only trophy remaining to complete the Raven Tulico's room on the main lodge. Anyway, an special trophy deserves to be killed with a special weapon. And you know, I don't have to mention which weapon. That's it. Now, let's just hope it is actually a diamond. Fingers crossed. Oh, it's a max core, max weight, diamond, tundra bingus. The last diamond we needed. <laughs>